Role of Rating Agencies in Financial Crisis in America Rating agencies serve as critical players in the financial markets, offering assessments of credit worthiness that influence investment decisions worldwide. This video delves into the multifaceted role of rating agencies in contributing to financial crisis in America, with a particular focus on the 2008 financial crisis. It explores how these agencies, tasked with evaluating and rating various financial instruments, have faced scrutiny for their methodologies, conflicts of interest, and the pro-cyclical nature of their actions. Now, before we start today's video, subscribe to our channel and like this video. Here we go. 1. The Function of Rating Agencies Credit rating agencies, exemplified by industry leaders like Moody's, Standard & Poor's, S&P, and Fitch, play a pivotal role in the financial landscape by providing essential credit assessments for a diverse range of entities and financial instruments. Whether evaluating the creditworthiness of national governments issuing bonds, assessing corporate debt offerings, or navigating the complexities of structured products like mortgage-backed securities MBS, and collateralized debt obligations CDOs, these agencies use a combination of quantitative analysis and qualitative factors. Investors heavily rely on the credit ratings assigned by these agencies as a critical tool for gauging risk and making informed investment decisions. The ratings influence the attractiveness of various financial instruments, guiding both institutional and individual investors in aligning their portfolios with their risk tolerance and investment objectives. While credit rating agencies have faced scrutiny and regulatory changes post-financial crisis, they remain integral to the functioning of global financial markets, providing a standardized means for assessing and communicating credit risk. 2. Structured Financial Products and the Subprime Mortgage Crisis a particularly noteworthy episode of scrutiny directed at rating agencies unfolded in the aftermath of the subprime mortgage crisis, which played a pivotal role in triggering the widespread financial turmoil of 2008. During this period, rating agencies including major players like Moody's, Standard & Poor's, S&P, and Fitch came under heavy criticism for their role in assigning high credit ratings to mortgage-backed securities MBS, and collateralized debt obligations CDOs. What drew significant concern was the fact that these high ratings were assigned to MBS and CDOs that were backed by subprime mortgages, loans characterized by a higher risk of default. The widespread perception of safety surrounding these structured financial products led to a misguided sense of security among investors and financial institutions. 3. Conflicts of Interest A notable issue surrounding rating agencies centers on the inherent conflict of interest embedded in their business model. The conventional practice involves issuers compensating these agencies for their rating services, establishing a potential bias that leans toward delivering favorable assessments. This conflict became particularly apparent in the prelude to the financial crisis, during which agencies might have been hesitant to downgrade securities. The reluctance to lower ratings could be attributed to pressures exerted by issuers who were keen on preserving high ratings for their financial products. This dynamic raised concerns about the objectivity and independence of the rating process, as the financial incentives tied to issuer payments potentially influence the agency's ability to provide unbiased and accurate evaluations of the risk associated with the rated securities. 4. Moral Hazard and Regulatory Response The financial crisis laid bare a distinct form of moral hazard within the rating agency industry prompting critics to assert that these agencies were not being held adequately accountable for their contributions to the crisis. In response to these concerns, regulatory measures were introduced, with a notable example being the Dodd-Frank Wall Street Reform and Consumer Protection Act of 2010. These measures were designed to address shortcomings in oversight, diminish conflicts of interest, and lessen the impact of credit ratings on regulatory frameworks. The intention was to establish a more robust regulatory framework that could better safeguard against the risks associated with over-reliance on credit ratings and enhance the accountability of rating agencies. The Dodd-Frank Act marked a significant step towards reforming the financial industry by addressing systemic issues and implementing measures aimed at preventing a recurrence of the vulnerabilities that led to the 2008 financial crisis. 5. Pro-Cyclical Nature of Ratings Rating agencies have faced criticism for exhibiting pro-cyclical behavior, a tendency to magnify market trends rather than offering impartial assessments. In periods of economic expansion, these agencies may be reluctant to promptly downgrade securities, thereby playing a role in the inflation of asset bubbles. Conversely, in economic downturns, there is a risk of swift and widespread downgrades, 
exacerbating market distress. Striking a balance in this pro-cyclical pattern and enhancing the forward-looking nature of ratings pose ongoing challenges. Critics argue that the historical tendency of rating agencies to follow market trends, rather than providing independent evaluations, has the potential to contribute to the volatility of financial markets, emphasizing the need for continuous efforts to refine and improve the rating process. 6. Rebuilding trust and moving forward Following the financial crisis, rating agencies found themselves in the midst of a credibility crisis. Rebuilding trust demanded a concerted effort toward greater transparency, enhanced methodologies, and a steadfast commitment to minimizing conflicts of interest. Both market participants and regulators advocated for a comprehensive reassessment of the rating agency industry. The objective was to ensure that the role of these agencies in financial markets shifted towards promoting stability, rather than exacerbating crises. The call for reform underscored the importance of restoring confidence in the accuracy and independence of credit ratings, acknowledging the pivotal role these assessments play in influencing investment decisions and overall market dynamics. The aftermath of the crisis prompted a collective push for a more robust and accountable rating agency framework that could withstand scrutiny and contribute to the resilience of the financial system. Conclusion Rating agencies, while playing a crucial role in financial markets, have encountered significant criticism for their involvement in financial crises. Lessons drawn from the 2008 financial crisis have instigated regulatory changes, underscoring the imperative for a more resilient and accountable rating agency industry. Looking ahead, continuous initiatives to tackle conflicts of interest, augment transparency, and refine rating methodologies will be pivotal in fortifying the dependability of credit assessments. These endeavors are essential for safeguarding the stability of financial markets, not only in the United States but also globally. Recognizing the challenges and shortcomings revealed by past crises, a commitment to ongoing improvement remains paramount in fostering a more trustworthy and effective credit rating landscape. Would you like it? Hit the like button and subscribe to our channels for more interesting and informative videos.